EAA 304, Highway Engineering Laboratory. Penetration Test Welcome to Highway Engineering Laboratory. This video describes step-by-step -step procedures to conduct penetration test for asphalt binder. The penetration test for the binder is conducted using ASTM D5 standard test method for penetration of bituminous materials. The penetration test is a test that measures the vertical distance traversed or penetrated by a standard needle into the bituminous material, under specified conditions of load, time, and temperature. The test assesses the consistency of asphalt binder, which describes the suitability of bitumen for use under different climate conditions. A 60-70 grade bitumen indicates that its penetration value lies between 60 and 70. Take note, that the distance is measured in one-tenth of a millimeter. In countries, with warmer year-round temperatures, lower penetration grades are preferred to avoid unnecessary asphalt binder softening. In contrast, Higher penetration grades like 180-200 are favored in colder regions, to prevent the occurrence of excessive brittleness. Objective To determine the penetration value of semi-solid and solid bituminous materials. The penetration value obtained, from the test illustrates the consistency of asphalt cement before and after heating. The penetration test for asphalt binder, requires the following apparatus. Penetrometer, that is equipped with needle, and weight. Sample container Transfer dish Water bath And stopwatch Procedure Heat the sample with care, until it has become sufficiently fluid to pour. Then, pour the sample into the sample container, but pay attention on the required depth. Ensure the depth of the sample at the test temperature is at least 10 mm greater than the depth of which the needle is expected to penetrate. The sample is kept at room temperature for 60 to 90 minutes. Then transfer the sample together with the transfer dish, in the water bath maintained at the prescribed temperature of test. Allow the container to remain soaked for 60 to 90 minutes. Place the sample container in the transfer dish. Cover the container completely with water and place the transfer dish on the stand of the penetrometer. Position the cleaned needle by slowly lowering it, until it barely contacts with the surface of the sample. Take note on the reading of the penetrometer dial, or bring the pointer to zero. Quickly release the needle holder for the specified period. Read the penetrometer dial, and record the corresponding penetration value. Clean a penetration needle, with toluene or other suitable solvent. Dry the needle, with a clean cloth. Make at least three determinations, at points on the surface of the sample not less than 10 mm from the side of the container, and not less than 10 mm apart. Report the average of three penetrations, to the nearest whole unit. Ensure that these values does not differ by more than the specified maximum difference, between highest and lowest penetration, as mentioned in the laboratory manual. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us at sarg.usm2011 at gmail.com.